Lonnie here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we are going to play with a few new fun things that I just got at World Market. How amazing are these guys right here? So I'm just gonna kind of play around with filling them up. And what I'm thinking is, so these are fake. These are the ones that I got at Michael's. And then I also got these bad boys, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. And these I ended up getting at uh, Trader Joe's. So they are, you can see, I've had them storing in water just to keep them alive because these are alive and fresh. And I think what will be really cool is that when these guys uh, dry out, they're still gonna be super, super pretty. So, I mean, look at those. They're just, oh, love them. Such beautiful fall colors, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get those out of the packages and then we'll just kind of place them in here. It's gonna be trial and error. I don't really have like an idea of what I want it to look like. I feel like it's gonna to come together and I'm hoping it's gonna to come together in a beautiful way. So let's get into this super quick project. I almost forgot that I actually got this vase at Michael's as well and again, we're just gonna play with things and see just how everything goes. But I also got this and these I got from Amazon and it's just a bunch of pompous grass. But oh, <laughs> I totally thought these were gonna be way bigger than they are. I was envisioning that they would be <laughs> like really tall, like this pompous grass here because I wanted to just add to this, add a little bit more dimension, make it a little bit poofier. But those are like four feet tall, and I thought that that's what the other ones were. But sadly, they are not. These are like 17 inches at the most. But also, some of them have like the ends are totally ruined with the packaging that they did. So I'm gonna use what I can. I do think that the pompous grass like this. I think it will be really pretty in some of these, even mixed in with some of the fresh. I just think it would look really cool, really natural vibe. Love that. So I also have, this is just like chicken wiring, it's wire mesh that I will just kind of put in here so that when I stick things in, they will stay in place. Not that I think that that's gonna go in there. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> but we have that vase as well. So let's get into it. Let's play around a little. This is everything that I have to play with. I've got all of the pompous grass is just laid out here. I've got all the fresh right here. And I'm actually thinking that I'm just gonna put a handful of these right here in this one because I kind of want this in on my bedside table. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure though, we'll just kind of, again, we'll play around and see how things kind of work out. And then the rest I can just stick in a mason jar and put in my office. These are so pretty, just absolutely love them. And then I'm thinking of just doing a mixture of the pompous grass and the fresh, just kind of like in here. Um, so let's just get into it. Let's just play around just a little bit. I'm also thinking that I'm gonna save this and maybe put like a live plant in this guy. So I don't know that I'm gonna use the pot or the wire. I don't know that I'll be using that today, but it's an option. So let's just see where we go. Mm -hmm. 
So I quickly realized that this was gonna take a little bit of planning on my part. I wasn't gonna just be able to stick a bunch of the flowers in there and have it look good. With the tube, the placement of the flowers was really gonna make a difference because it had a lot to do with balance as well. So I ended up stripping out all of the leaves from the actual stems added a little bit of water down at the bottom. I used the food that came with the bunch of flowers, which was really handy. And then I just started sticking the flowers in and arranged them to where I just thought it looked pretty to my eye. There was really no rhyme or reason. I just wanted to make sure that it looked good, like 360 view, so I could put this anywhere. And I love the way it came out. Now with this one, I really did not have any idea what this was gonna look like. I didn't really have anything in my mind of how I wanted it to look. So I thought we're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna go for it. And I love the botanical look of all of these sprigs. And I love how it ended up coming out. It just kind of came together and kind of created a life of its own. Makes sense. Oh my goodness, so that just happened. So I went to pull, I had the baby's breath in, and I went to pull it out, and it grabbed the tube itself, and it fell out and hit the countertop and broke the bottom. Super sucks. I gotta clean up a little bit, make sure Kai doesn't walk over here. That is such a sucky bummer. So what I'm gonna do, it's not the end of the world because these are gonna dry anyways and technically you could like move this over into the middle and you can't really tell. And I think once I have the baby's breath in there, you're really not gonna be able to tell on the bottom. I'm hoping, but we'll see. But that is such a huge bummer, such a bummer. Okay, we are all cleared up, <laughs> no glass on the floor, but I am seriously so bummed that that happened. Luckily, this was the least expensive of these little, like, beaker <laughs> tubes, so, oh well, it's, it is what it is, and I, like I said, I don't think that it's gonna be a big difference, so let's just go ahead and keep filling it. Now I know to be very careful, for sure. So learn from my mistakes. I love the way this came out. Absolutely love. That is a little bit of a bummer, <laughs> but you know what, that's okay. In the big scheme of things, it looks really good. And I love, just love how these look. So pretty. All right, let's move on to the next one. I just love doing arrangements like these because you really can just let your imagination go and you can be as creative as you want. You can keep it as simple as you want. And at first I was thinking, we're just gonna keep this really simple. And then as I was kind of getting into it, I thought, you know what, this needs color. <laughs> so I use a little bit of the fresh cut and then I use a little bit of the flowers that I got at Michael's for that color. And I love the way the colors popped in here. I didn't add water to the bulbs because there was no reason to. These are gonna dry and they are going to dry beautifully. And the other ones, the big colorful flowers were fake anyways. And this might just be my favorite one. Absolutely love. Oh, love how these turned out. Such a fun project. With the extra fresh cut flowers, I just grabbed a mason jar. This is probably the easiest arrangement done. <laughs>
for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.